This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey what's up guys this is Bossy from FilmLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to create these three cinematic title animation inside of Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugin. And it's really easy to create so watch the video till the end. If you like my tutorials then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel it would be really appreciated. Ok let's create our first title animation. So create a new composition and let's call it title 1 and I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok. Ok let's import this beautiful footage you can download this footage from Envato elements link in the description box below. Ok now select this footage and place it into this timeline then right click on this footage then go to transform then click on fit to comp. Ok let's create our text so right click new then click on text. For font style you can use any kind of bold font that looks awesome for this title animation. Let's type your text. Ok now make this layer center then simply select this text layer and then change the layer mode to overlay. Now select this layer then go to toolbar and select paint tool then create a mask around your text something like this. Now go to mask, then set a keyframe on mask path, then simply select this keyframe and drag it around 4 or 5 seconds. Now go to beginning of this animation, then change the mask path position to something like this. Now simply increase the feather amount to 50. Now select these two keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease. Ok let's ramp it with it. Looks good to me. Ok now select this text layer then go to beginning of this animation then press S on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it 90. Ok let's create a new black solid layer so right click new then click on solid color set it black and rename it to flimber then click on ok now select this layer then go to toolbar and select your rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this max path then hold down alt then control then drag now change the max mode to invert Ok let's run preview this. Looks good to me. Design better projects faster with Envato elements.
get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inventor Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inveto Elements and start creating today. Let's create our second title. Rename it to Title 2. Same settings, then click on OK. Now select this footage and place it into this timeline. Then again, right click, then go to Transform, then click on Fit to Comp. Again, create a new text layer. So, right click new, then click on text. Okay, now make this layer center. Now go to now select this uh, text layer, then go to effect and preset window, then open animation preset, then go to text, then go to blur and select above it, then select this preset and apply onto this text layer. Then simply press U on your keyboard, then invert the keyframes something like this. Now go to beginning of this animation, then select this text layer, then press S on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on scale, then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it 90. Then go to title 1 and then select Flimber, then press Ctrl plus C, then go to title 2 and then press Ctrl plus V. Okay, let's run preview this. Okay, let's create our title 3. Select this footage and place it into this timeline. Then right click again, then go to transform, then click on fit to comp. Now select this footage, then go to toolbar and select paint tool then marks the mountain something like this Perfect. Now select this footage, then press Ctrl plus D. Then select the second footage, then press M, then select the marks, then press delete on your keyboard. Now simply create your text. So right click mm -hmm. new, then click on text. Then type your text here. Now make it center, then select this text layer, then place it below the first footage. Now press P on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on position, 
then select this keyframe and drag it around 5 seconds then go to beginning of this animation then simply select the text layer and then change the position to something like this now select these two keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this Okay, now go to title 2, then select the flame bar, then press Ctrl plus C to copy, then go to title 3, then press Ctrl plus V to paste here. Okay, let's ramp it. Is the position a little bit I hope you like this tutorial, thank you very much, I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.